Hi, this is Deep Sky Blue for DIYAllDay.com. Uh, we're on our uh, last video here in the series for computer assembly. Um, and basically this is just the final step that we're working on here today, which is all the stuff that we've installed in the case, we're going to put in the power plugs and the connectors to just get everything hooked up here. So uh, no tools required for this step. It's a little more time consuming, but uh, not especially difficult. Only thing I have uh, beside me here, uh, two SATA cables, uh, motherboards uh, usually come with at least two of these, so uh, don't need to worry about buying them because uh, yeah, most people uh, are running one hard drive, one optical drive, so you've, you've got your two there uh, that you need. Um, and then the motherboard manual, which is just kind of a reference for installing the, the jumpers that hook up all these front uh, front items on the case, the, the USB and the audio, that kind of stuff. So, um, the first thing I'm going to start with here, I'm, I'm going to hook up the power uh, to the drives. Uh, several, uh, several cables coming out of the power supply here. Uh, both of these are going to use SATA and... Uh, with this hard drive being as low as it is here, I'm, I'm actually going to run them on uh, separate connectors here. Uh, when you're installing the, the power for SATA, there's a, uh, it's like a little L, the connector, and there's a little L on the drive too. So it's, uh, it's not possible to put it on the wrong way. And uh, like everything, you know, it doesn't require a lot of force, just a, a little push, and it's taken care of there. And then you end up with you know a lot of extra cables that are, are just kind of hanging out there. Um, solution that a lot of people use is zip ties. Um, otherwise, I mean, you know what I end up doing on a lot of them is just putting the extra cables just into the empty slots in the drive bays. So I have that first power hooked up for the hard drive. We're going to go ahead and uh, do our optical drive here. Uh, same thing, uh, SATA as well, so just a little L there. We'll uh, tuck this in here, and we'll get this one hooked up as well. Just uh, a little push there. Make sure I got that on there correctly. And there we are, have the uh, optical drive installed, uh, well, uh, we have the power uh, for the optical drive put on there. And I'm just tucking these extra cables into the drive base here so they're out of the way. Uh, makes your case look a lot neater, especially if you have a side panel window. Um, it's going to look much nicer with all those cords put away. So uh, now that we have those on, um, for this particular case, there's no required order for these by any means. Kind of the, the challenge is hooking stuff up in such a way that, uh, you know, you have room to complete the next step. Uh, the SATA on these, they, uh, the actual SATA hookups, not the power, but the, the connectors, they, they actually point to the side. Um, maybe not the best setup uh, for that, but that's, that's how they've chosen to do it on this one. So, just so I have room to work on the other stuff here, I'm, I'm going to get these hooked up first so I don't have a, a bunch of stuff in my way while I'm trying to do them because there's very little space to work in there. So, same thing as the power. There's a little L there, so it's you can't get them in cor incorrectly. Let's see here. These uh, these snap, so they, uh, they lock into place uh, when you have them on. You just hear a little snap there. Uh, same thing on the uh, hard drive there. A little snap as we get it in. And if you're removing them, you just push that down. So we'll get the uh, second one done here for the hard dri uh, optical drive. Excuse me. There's a, there's generally not a preference on these as to which ones you use first. Some things there are. Uh, but for the SATA, you know, anyone, anyone will work just fine. Okay, same thing here over on the optical drive. That one, it, it just glided in so smooth it didn't snap there, but it is in. So, there we are. 
Okay, I'm just kind of going to tuck these away here into, uh, you know, that, uh, any space I have there along the drive bays. Uh, so those are hooked up. Uh, next step I'm going to take a look at here um, is hooking up the main power connector. Uh, for this motherboard, uh, this is a 20 plus 4 pin. They've split this just in case, you know, you were using the power supply for an old style 20 pin, then it's compatible with both. Uh, don't really see those anymore, but if you're replacing a power supply in an old case, um, this is something that, uh, that would come in handy. Because uh, then your uh, your power supply is backwards and forwards compatible. There's a on these. There's a little clip on it, and that's going to correspond with the little uh, thing that the clip hooks to on the power connector. So I'll just uh, push that in there. Okay, and we have the main power connector hooked up there. This board is a little bit higher end one. Uh, so it ha the additional CPU power connector, which you can see over here next to the CPU, is an 8-pin. Um, some of the lower-end boards are going to use 4-pins for those. I've seen 6-pin very rarely, though. And then I'm going to have an 8-pin CPU connector on, on one of these here. There it is right there. So same thing, just a little clip on here. Corresponds with a, a little thing that holds the clip on the uh, CPU power plug there. Okay, so we have that in as well. Um, now for some setups, uh, video cards are going to require a, a power source. Uh, mine does not, but yours might, so uh, check on that um, if you're needing to hook up either a 6-pin or an 8-pin PCIe connector to your, uh, to your hard drive there. So uh, we're, uh, we're getting close to the end here just a, a few more things to hook up here. This is all the stuff for the, the front of the case. The front USB, the front audio. We'll get these uh, moved around here. And then I'm going to do the, the jumpers. They're last. So uh, two of them here, they're labeled uh, real nice and easy kind of tangled around there. So uh, we have front USB. There's actually uh, several hookups for these here. I have three of them actually. Uh, one of them is actually USB 3.0 and then I have two uh, 2.0s there. Um, only have two ports on the front of my case so I only have one plug so I have some extra unused ones here. Uh, there's going to be a, an area where there's not a pin there that's going to correspond where there's not a pin in the port there. And if you need to know the location of any of these, like on mine, they're, they're all labeled right on the board. Most boards have them that way. Also, point of reference, motherboard manual will tell you how everything's laid out there. This one actually has both hookups uh, for the, the old style AC97 and then also the HD audio. If you don't have both, you just use the one that uh, that you have basically, but most motherboards these days are supporting the high uh, high definition audio, so that's the one that I'm hooking up here. Okay, just gonna find that missing pin there, so it looks like it goes in this way here. Uh, tight space here. We'll get this all plugged in here. And I have that all pushed in. So those are very easy. Just one plug there. And then I have that in. These uh, do not come in all one plug. The, uh, the jumpers. What these hook up on. Uh, what these hook up on the front of the case. Are going to be like your uh, hard drive light. The one that blinks as your hard drive is running power switch, reset switch, that kind of stuff. Uh, so they're all separated and they go uh, down here, uh, the front panel, it's labeled right there. Um, these are all really nicely labeled and color-coded right on here. Uh, not all of them have them that way, so 
Again, your motherboard manual is a, is a great reference there for getting those hooked up. These also, um, I don't know if you can see in here, but they uh, they actually show the uh, the polarity of it. There's a little plus there for the positive. Uh, some of them it doesn't matter, like a reset switch. You could hook it up either way. It's just bridging a connection temporarily. Some of them uh, polarity actually matters on, um, but uh, like the uh, speaker, for example, there's actually a, a positive and a negative on there. So, what have we got here? We have the HDD lead. Okay, and that's this uh, this blue one down here. Uh, for these, the colored wire is always going to be the, the positive wire. Uh, the white wire is going to be the negative. So, let's see. It's going to go in this way. Yeah, these just slide right in. There's a couple little holes and they just fit over some pins in there. Have the power switch. Okay, that's the red one and the positive is on the left there, so we'll get that one in there. Um, as I, I've mentioned a couple times before, we're going to do a, a future article on some troubleshooting. This is one right here, you know, if you get it all hooked up and your system doesn't power it on, it is that power switch uh, in there correctly. And again, we'll focus on that a little more here in the future as far as what could be wrong if you get it all together and, and you're pressing the power button and nothing's happening. Have the reset switch here, uh, which is going to go right underneath there. Okay. Get that pushed in there. There we are. And then the last one here. I actually didn't bring the speaker down with me. There's a different setup. Some of them, they have a nice little mounted speaker on there. More and more what they're doing, uh, the case is just going to come with a little itty bitty just... Uh, speaker like that with a couple wires coming off of it and a connector and that's what this one came with uh, so that'll be something that I, I go and get hooked up there at the end we have uh, this is the power LED it's the light in the front when your powers on I had mentioned in a previous video that um, there's some disagreement uh, among motherboard and case manufacturers whether these should be two or three pins Sometimes you end up with a three pin one uh, on a two pin case, and that's what I was saying. Well, sometimes you need to use a carpet knife to cut them, but these are already split. They've kind of accomplished the exact same thing there. The middle pin doesn't do anything, it's just a, an empty slot or a, or a dummy there, anyway. So, uh, so this is going to be the last two, and then we are all hooked up. Let's see here. Yeah, this is actually a three-pin setup here, so it's it's good that these are split on here. So we'll get the positive in here first. And then the negative goes all the way over on the side here. Okay, so that's that's everything that we're looking at here today. Just to kind of review all the power cables that there are to hook up as, as a little bit of a, a checklist for you. Uh, we've got the main power connector for the system. Uh, most boards are going to have a secondary CPU power source, uh, either uh, typically 4 pin or 8 pin. So we got that hooked up. Have the power for our drives, our hard drive and our optical drive. And then the, uh, the SATA hookups, which connect them to, to the actual unit. Uh, the other ones, of course, are just doing the power for it. Uh, we have our front panel equipment, uh, which is going to include the uh, front USB, front panel audio, and then these uh, little jumpers here, uh, which are a little bit more time consuming, that hook up the power light, hard drive light, uh, power switch, reset switch, speaker, and so on and so forth. And then uh, for those of you that do have a high-end video card, sometimes that's going to require an, an additional power source as well. So. Uh, that's what we're looking at here, as I'm noticing here. We've uh, 
for getting a case span here. Um, some cases have them, some don't. Uh, most mid to high end cases are gonna these just use the Moltex. So just a, a real quick one to uh, to get hooked up here to finish the process. Okay, so um, this one's actually compatible with both. There's all kinds of little fan ports in there, uh, but when I tried to reach it, they're way over on this side, so uh, they've got a Moltex adapter on here as well. So that's everything. Um, you know, after you get done, you may want to get the case cleaned up a little. You know, make sure none of the cords are, are hitting any of the fans or anything either. You know, use some zip ties or get that stuff all stuffed into the empty drive base there so it's uh, neat and clean in your system. So, uh, yeah, next step here is going to be plugging it in and powering it up. Um, I prefer just to, to leave the side of the case off just in case there's any troubleshooting that needs to happen. So that's uh, what we're going to be covering uh, in our next article here, powering it up and, uh, you know, what to do if it doesn't. So... Again, this is Deep Sky Blue for DIYAllDay.com.